Hi there, this is Sharon with Spare Time Art Design. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. As you can see, I'm going to be doing a record pour. Um, I have colors mixed up. They're kind of sort of my own creation. I have oh, a hair in my paint. Okay, so this um, is, I'm calling it pollen. Actually, I have a website that I use to look at different color combinations and I got as close as I could to the color that they call pollen. And what it is, is just regular um, cad yellow medium and I added a little bit of burnt sienna to it and kind of dulled it down a little bit. All right. This is supposed to be called bubble gum on quinacridone magenta, some satin enamel in here, a little bit of white and just a dot of purple. And it came out pretty close to what was in the picture. I hope I'm holding this in the right spot here. Okay. This is chartreuse. And it is phthalo green with bright green. And let's see here. I don't think I put in. I just, I put a little bit of white in here, I think. I think that was it. And maybe a couple drops of yellow. Okay. Forgot to mention that I also have satin enamel in the bubble gum. All right. And here is just plain old magenta, um, quinacridone magenta. Okay. So I've debated whether or not I should pour these colors separately or layer them in a cup. So I think what I'm going to do is layer them in a cup because of the satin enamel in there. I want things to react and I don't know if it makes a difference, but who knows? So I have my cup here that I'm going to layer my paint into. I have no silicone in these paints, but I did wipe a little bit of silicone on the inside of this cup, basically to make sure all the paints come out, which helps a lot, and maybe it'll give me a little cell stuff. Who knows? Okay. So this is just regular titanium white, and it's mixed with Floetrol. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with that in the bottom and we'll start out with some magenta now these are supposed to be summery colors so that's what I'm hoping for is that it looks summery okay we're gonna go with pollen I'm really not that good at mixing colors, so I'm really surprised it turned out as close to what the pictures look like. Chartreuse. I mean, it's like mint, mint green. Chartreuse, really? I mean, who made that up? That's crazy. Chartreuse. Anybody knows the origin behind the color chartreuse? I'm guessing it's French. I don't know. And then bubblegum. This might be kind of, kind of light. Yeah, I don't think I really need any more white in there. I got a good amount. So let's go with the magenta again. And I have magenta in a bottle too. And I think I actually may throw some more in this cup because I have a feeling these colors are are going to be sorry about this I have a feeling these colors are going to be kind of too much pastel so I really need to get 
more of a contrast in there. So let's throw a little bit more in there. Alrighty, and then let's see. Let's go with the green. Nah, what I want to do. Let's go with the yellow pollen. Now, I don't know if this is give, gonna give me any clouds or not. I know that in order for it to, for the effect to work, you have to stretch it. So that's why I decided to use my use it on the record so I can spin it. And the nice thing about using it on a record too, if it looks like crap, you can just spin the paint off and do something else with it. So, yeah, let's put these out here. Uh, let's see, let's go with the bubble gum. These colors look really pretty together too. So, let's hope we get something nice out of this. My last record pour was really, really bright with a lot of orange and black and like something for Halloween but I mean it was pretty but I'm not a big fan of orange I'm really not not unless it's Halloween and I love Halloween but I'm looking forward to doing some Halloween paintings I usually draw like witches and crazy trees with the moon behind it and stuff like that on Halloween so we'll see if I do that again. I don't know if I, I think in my video that I did um, of my mess, you can look back and find that. I did show you some paintings of um, the what I have on my wall and there are, um, I say um a lot. I need to be shocked every time I say, um, so I can stop saying it. There are paintings of what I did on Halloween, and one of them was, um, Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas, who I morphed into a butterfly, and he's got, I named it Conundrum, because the look that I put on his face is like, okay, I am in a conundrum, what am I going to do? But I gave him the stripe, pinstripe suit, and I did it in black and red and purple and white. And it's probably my, one of my favorite paintings that I've ever done, just because it's original. I didn't copy it from anything, except looking at a picture of his face, because I wasn't really sure how to how to do that off the top of my head and the butterfly well I think everybody can draw a halfway decent butterfly so I'm gonna uh, level out my box so I'm gonna pause this for just a moment I'm back um so here's my paint got poured in the cup and I think I'm gonna throw on some gloves just because I'm tired of scraping paint out from underneath my fingernails so what's everybody doing for Mother's Day my son called me today and so he's coming up on Sunday. He lives about an hour and a half away from me. He used to live five hours away until I moved to North Carolina. So an hour and a half is nothing. And we're going to hang out for the day. And not sure what we're going to do, but we're going to hang out for the day. 
So it should be fun. I love hanging out with him. We have so much fun. He's such a goofball. Okay, so trying to decide what I want to do. Do I want to pour this as I'm spinning it? Or pour it and then spin it? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it and then pour a little bit. Just because I want to play. Okay. Well, I got the pink I wanted. Let's get some paint going here. All right. So we'll pour some in the middle here. And we'll give it a little spin. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. And then you gotta go the other way to get it to open up around the other side. That's really pretty. Hmm. I could do this all day. I really could. I could really do this all day. I'd love to have an electric one. That would be so awesome. That would be really amazing. See if you go the other way, it kind of centrifugal force changes it a little bit. I have paint on my face. That's okay. I'm going to torch this real quick. And this is my crazy torch again. That looks more like southwestern than summer. It's okay. It still looks cool. Okay, since since that was so cool, I want this magenta to be kind of all over, not just in that one spot. possibilities with this are endless you know that all the cool things that you can do with this they are absolutely endless That is so amazing. That is really cool. I'm liking that that white came in, it came down and kind of lightened things up a little bit. I am pretty darn happy with this. The design in the middle almost looks like candy canes. Turn this the other way real quick. Wow. 
I could just do this forever. What I'm going to do is give it just one like white stripe around the outside. <laughs> Sorry about the allergies, I'm sniffling again. I don't think I want to do anything more to this. I really don't. Let's see if I can get rid of some of these blobs here. I think that looks pretty darn cool. What do you think? it the way it is. I think I might leave it alone because I am so good at messing it up. I don't think I'm going to add any more paint to it. Love the middle of it. I absolutely love the middle. That is so cool. Wow. Let me see if I can get this box up closer so you can see in the middle. There we go. Oh, I can't go forward anymore. The tripod's in the way, but can you see that? Pretty amazing, pretty amazing stuff. Okay, I am really liking that. I think I am going to leave it the way it is. I really don't want to mess it up. And I am notorious for continuing to play with it and messing it up. So I'm going to get these bubbles popped. a good amount of paint in the middle here but you know what I really don't want to tilt that and I can't lift this tray anyway because it's completely painted onto the box and I don't know I want to keep this darker on the outside and the white in the middle and it's, it's kind of even, so. But the design in the middle is just gorgeous. I love it. So hopefully it dries without cracking. And if it does, I have my ways of fixing that, so. Um, if anybody doesn't know what I do, I use modeling paste. It dries clear but you just take it with a spatula if you have a crack and put some on the end of your spatula and run it over the crack until it fills it up and then take a damp cloth and wipe away the excess that's on top and after it dries it you really can't see it and then when you varnish it you never know there's a crack there so it's some pretty cool stuff so there's some cells trying to pop up here so might have some of those showing up later but and oh my um burnt sienna has a little bit of copper mixed in with it so you're gonna um might see some shimmer once this dries because it's on my hands and you can see the shimmer so yeah, so it's kind of cool. I like that. 
So this is my last record. I'm going to have to go down to the Salvation Army and grab me some more record albums. And luckily it's only five minutes from my house, so I see a couple of blobs in here that I need to pick up. I saw one anyway. Oh, there it is. Sometimes I use some paint that are in the small little bottles. And if you don't use them after a while, they really, look at how big that is. They will really start giving you a lot of blobs. And I usually, when I use those paints, I try and keep them um, fluid. I um, As soon as I use it for the first time, I mix some Floetrol in with them so they stay fluid. Um, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is. It's like some fibers. So anyway, the paints will stay fluid that way. Um, I have a little bit of a record showing through there. There we go. I'm just looking for blobs right now. I'm in a blob hunt. I really don't see any more. I think that's it. Okay, well, I'm going to let this be it and go set it off and let it dry. Oh, I just dropped my tube of modeling paste here. It's a good thing I use plastic tablecloths because it's starting to get really pretty over here with all the different colors that I've spilled. So I'm going to leave this and um, I will show it to you after it dries. I'll show it to you on the next video I do. If it's dry by then, I may do a video. I may just do another video today. I want to do canvas on my spinner. I don't have any round canvas though. so. I'll have to get a rectangle, one that's small enough to go on here without it, hit, <clears throat> excuse me, hitting the edges of my box. Cause that's, that would be a mess. So I do want to show you the black and purple and magenta one that I did. Let me take my gloves off and I'll bring it up here. It's really, really dark but it's still really, really pretty. I love these colors together. They are absolutely gorgeous. I've got to wipe off the um, oil from the silicone. Let me, um, nah, I don't, it's starting to get dark outside. I can't turn off the light, but let me try and show this to you as best I can without the glare but it turned out gorgeous um, right now it's hard to see by looking at it because the black and the purple have silicone in them and it makes the canvas really shiny so you really can't see it very well but once I get it cleaned up and get it varnished, I'm going to use a matte varnish on this, I think. Um, it's going to be beautiful. I love it. Okay, thanks again, Casey, for the help with the colors. You did a great job with the turquoise, purple, and magenta, and black. I think it looks amazing. Okay. So that's it for that. And let me show you my other record pours. I have to say that this one that I just did is my favorite. This is one that I did. I think this is the first one that I, no, this is the second one that I did. 
and I really like this one. It is turquoise, phthalo blue, uh, gold, and mint green and white. Okay. And then the first one I did is kind of wild looking. It has so many colors in here, I can't even tell. We got pink, we got lavender, we got blue, turquoise, gold, white. So many colors. But I don't know, this one really has no rhyme or reason to it. But I do love the, the pattern on the outside. It's really pretty. And then this is the one I just did prior to this. It is pretty wild. I can see this in teenage boy's room as a clock or something. I think I am gonna turn these into clocks. I also thought of maybe putting them on, mounting them to a canvas and just leaving it white or a very, very neutral color like for this one, use it white with just like a spot of pink in it or something like that and mounting it on the canvas. So let me know what you think about that. It's going to be a while before I can do any of that stuff because everything has to dry and, and cure and everything. But this one right here, I think would look really cool on a black canvas or a really super dark purple or like a purple and black kind of mixed in together not mixed in but um smears of black here and purple there and, and stuff so let me know what you think i love people's suggestions and and comments and criticism and everything i i love it because I'm just learning and if you see something that I could do different or better, I welcome the comments. So hit that like button if you like it and give me some comments on what you think. And I'm going to say so long for right now. I'm going to clean this up a little bit and I think I might throw on a canvas and do another one. So. I will see you all later. Bye.